Hey guys, um, so it's Wednesday, um, the 17th of March, and I hope everybody has had a pretty decent Wednesday and been blessed at least. Um, I hope um, everyone's been encouraged uh, by the Lord today. Um, I know I have been. Um, I've had a couple different blessings today. Um, my grandson, who I don't get to see, but, you know, like once every couple of weeks because everybody's got crazy busy lives. Um, and then the COVID thing and all, too, we were going through that. But um, so we have decided to, uh, his mom and I have decided to start teaching him about how mail works. You know, the general post, post office mail, just taking it to the mailbox. And I remembered, it made me remember last night, you know, and I texted her and I said, don't you remember getting mail, you know, or knowing that you were getting mail and just, just the feeling, you know, if you can remember that when you were younger, you know, just that excitement of even knowing that mail was coming, you know, for you. And uh, I remember my grandparents doing it for me. And I always knew, like, they never said, I will write you again on such and such date. They just done it with a consistency that I, I expected it. And, you know, that's, I got to thinking about that this morning more in a spiritual sense. And, you know, while I was packing his little envelope full of, you know, just little stickers and things for, you know, this is our first letter to each other. I'm excited, too. I feel like that kid again. So, it's really been a, it's going to be a huge thing. And I'll keep you guys posted if his mom allows. I'll have to ask and make sure. But uh, it's such a blessing. But anyway, thinking about it spiritually. So, think about this, okay? My grandparents wrote me letters. And it's depending on my age. I can look at go back and look at those letters that I've still got a few of. When I was in, like, kindergarten, you know, the letters that I'd wrote to them or they had wrote to me were at that age level. And they, they talked to me at that age level. And, you know, I thought about how Jesus, when we turn and repent from our sins and we turn to come back to him, how, you know, it's like we're in kindergarten again and we are just so excited to get the next word from him, the next letter in the mail, you know, the, the next pack of stickers, you know, those kinds of surprises, and, um, you know, in, I got, I was looking it up in Hebrews, um, uh, in Hebrews 13, verse 8, it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, and today, and forever, so let's look at this, this is how my mind was working with it, my grandparents didn't say, and Jesus, he says, he even tells us, I will be the same today as I am tomorrow and then forever on. So if I love you today, I'm going to love you tomorrow. I'm going to love you the next day. So as a Mimi, I want to be consistent like Christ, to where there is a hope, and he can know hope, and his mom can teach that onto him, and by her planting that seed, you know, spiritually, that hope seed, that love, you know, and um, I was looking, you know, I was looking and just, you know, we've been on this study, uh, for, for uh, you know, this month for the essence of love. And I was, today is my second day of liver treatment, by the way, guys. Um, so I, I thought, I prayed and I prayed, God, 
you know, I don't want to focus on just being homesick and the only outings that I do or the only thing that I do is go to the doctor and that's the only day that I, I see out. And, um, you know, I've seen him work this. All of a sudden, it just occurred to to me and, and my stepdaughter, you know, let's... Why, why have me and Carson not been writing letters to each other? Yeah, we do this, you know, FaceTime and stuff. But there's something about having mail that has been touched by someone else that you love. And this has been breathed. And God's breath and life. That's what this is. In a spiritual sense. To that. To me. Um, but I wrote here in my Bible. <clears throat> in big words. That is love. And then I drew a little blue heart of course. But I found in Romans 5, 8. But God clearly shows and proves his own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let me say that again. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Therefore, since we have now been justified, which is means we're declared free of guilt of any sin. You're, it's from the east to the west, no more remembered, no, it's forgotten. So you have, therefore, since you have now been justified, and declared free of guilt and sin by his blood, by Christ's blood, how much more certain is it that we will be saved from the wrath of God through him? Guys, he, he wants to bless us. He wants us to expectantly wait with hopeful joy on his next letter, his next word. His next message to us. Um, you know, Romans 5.5, 5, you know, says, <clears throat> you know, your promises never disappoint me because your love has been abundantly poured out within my heart through the Holy Spirit who was given to me. And... Just to think that while I, you know, I know we all sin and fall short. <laughs> I know we all do. And he gives us mercies for each day and grace for that. But doesn't it make you just want to love him even more? Knowing that while, I know when I was in my mud... I can't even think about it. I was so dirty. And I oftentimes, you know, compare myself to Mary Magdalene, my past. Just because it was that, that, that bad, that rough. And um, God saved me from that and pulled me out and said, There, the enemy has fallen. And he will never rise again. I have a hope. I have a future for you. And it's a good plan. It's not. It's not for evil. Guys, that, those promises that he, that he breathed on this letter that he's sending. If you guys get what I'm saying. The letter that we're expecting and hoping for and waiting at the mailbox every day, riding our bicycle down there to get 
the mail out of the mailbox. We've got it. And we should wake up every day. Is today the day that it's going to get here? Oh, as Carson would do. Oh, that's his excited face. So we should, you know, I, I should be getting up every morning running to this with expected joy and hope of what letter is going to come today. What word? What love? What new found love am I going to find today in his word? I mean, I, I just, I'm going to leave you guys with this and I'm going to go pick up my hubby from work. So, uh, this is Romans uh, 6 and verse 1. What shall we say to all of this? Should we continue in sin and practice sin as a habit so that God's gift of grace may increase and overflow? Certainly not. How can we? The very ones who died to sin continue to live in it any longer. Or are you ignorant of the fact that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We have therefore been buried with him through baptism into death so that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory and power of the Father, we too might walk habitually, habitually, consistently in newness of life abandoning our old ways guys tape up the rear view mirror because the windshield is bigger to see through we don't need to see what's back there anymore it's gone we just need to wake up and wait for the mail every morning that's what I want to do Anybody else want to? Guys, I hope everyone's been encouraged today. And um, encourage yourself in the Lord. <clears throat> encourage someone else if you feel good today. Even if you don't, it'll make you feel better. It did me. Thanks for letting me get that out. God bless, guys. <laughs>